Hey everybody, it's Ed. Welcome back. It is June of 2020. It's 50 years ago, in this month, if you walked into a record store, there's a very good chance that they would be putting this out or it would be sitting on the shelves. And it is, as you can see, <laughs> it says February 1970 on stage. Elvis Presley. This was the second live album that was released, or album with live performances, I should say, uh, where the first one was the From Elvis in Memphis, from, or, no, what was it? Uh, from uh, Memphis to Vegas, and From Vegas to Memphis. Double LP, which was then released as two single LPs, I think, just pretty much right after this. Um, but one of my favorite albums, this has my absolute favorite song on it, by Elvis, which was released as a single, The Wonder of You. And here we have the 45, which does advertise on the bottom from Elvis's new LP, On Stage Coming Soon. And then on the back was Mama Like the Roses, which was a song that was recorded in 1969. And, um... At American Sound Studios, Mama Like the Roses, and Wonder Review. Bing! All right, and I also happen to have this single on the red label. What is it, Golden Standards or whatever they called it? Yes, Gold Standard wrote, uh, Red Label. With again, Mama Like the Roses on the back so this album that I initially showed this is an original pressing from 1970 from June of 1970 uh, has the original inner sleeve which unfortunately is not in the greatest condition because it is split but um, the way it looks it presents well and then this is on the rigid vinyl it's not a flexi at all. And have the RCA Victor. It's in really good shape. Plays excellently. And I do enjoy breaking this out and listening to it. I do also break out the uh, Friday Music version as well. Which I am going to. Why can't I? <laughs> this thing is. There we go. All right, and then from there, that's the original. Oh wait, another way to tell the original press also <clears throat> is that these boxes, where it says side one and side two, are uh, usually in red. Then also, I've seen versions. I believe down here is also highlighted in red. I may be wrong. Somebody can correct me on that if if, uh, if you want. Right, but we have that one. Then this is a later pressing from, from the later 70s, I would say around the time Moody Blue was released. All right, and this is a not for sale stamp promo. Now you'll see that this one does not have the red borders. All right, and down here, it's actually highlighted in white. Um, and there's also a little indication down here that lets you know it's a, it's a different pressing of the album. I don't know if you can see if it focuses in, but there's a number two here. Which is, I guess, kind of equivalent to an RE. But this is still an LSP, which was the original catalog uh, number. Eventually it went to, I think, AYL, I think. I'm not exactly sure. All right, but in this one, um, it is a later sleeve. You'll see it ends with Moody Blue there. And it's on the black label. Same label as the Moody Blue album. So this would probably be released from around the same time as the Moody Blue release. And uh, this was from a radio station. Don't exactly remember which one. I don't know if my father would remember either. He may. All right, and then this is the more recent Friday music release. This is the inner... Uh, it comes a gatefold so it shows the inner sleeve as the gatefold and then the back has the original cover actually this one doesn't have the red 
circle around it either. So I could be wrong on that red circle around the bottom. Uh, Friday Music One also came with a poster of the album cover. And Friday Music One is on a blue vinyl, translucent, with a black, like, splatter. Well, I don't want to really call it a splatter. Well, maybe it is a splatter. I don't know. But this one, um, on the second side of the label, it just has RCA. For some reason, they left off Victor, where on the first side, it says RCA and Victor. So that was a odd little omission. But from what I understand, they were all pressed like that. I don't know if they corrected it eventually. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. All right, and then the last one I'm going to show, as far as the albums go, is the FTD release of February 1970 on stage. They call it the special edition, I believe. Yes, the special edition. Um, this is a two LP set. Recorded around the same time as the session, uh, you know, the concerts that the album was taken from. This is great. I love this one. It's one of my favorite FTDs. I should do a, uh, a video on my favorite FTD albums. That, that, that might be coming up. I also want to do the one of reading that interview from the 1957 magazine of Elvis. All right, now let's look through some CDs. Um, all right, we'll go to a 1999 CD pressing of Elvis on stage. This was an expanded version. It's had a few extra songs on it. If you can see the song listing. I don't know. It might be blurry. Sorry if it is. All right, but this is the CDs where they kind of made them look like records on the inside. Um, and again, this was from 1999. All right, and then we have the 2010 release for the 40th anniversary. So 10 years ago, because now we're celebrating 50. We have the On Stage Legacy Edition, which was a two CD set, which featured pretty much the same as what was on here with the extra songs. And then an expanded version of Elvis in person uh, at the International. So this was a nice little package that they did. You see on the inside, they have the cover for the inside, uh, the International and the back cover. Then you have the CDs themselves, and there's also a booklet with additional pictures, information, and all that good stuff. Um, they did a nice job with these Legacy Editions. Uh, it's curious to see what, if anything, they're doing for the 50th. I don't think anything, haven't heard anything. Who will? All right, and then from there, we have from the more recent 60 CD album collection box set, the Elvis Presley album collection, is the version from there. Oh, wait, see, down here they have it in red. Da da, da da. So, there you go. I knew I saw it somewhere. And there's your label for that CD. All right, and then I guess the last one that I'm going to show is another FTD release that came out two years ago, and this is called Off On Stage. But this is only a one CD release, not two. And um, there you go, but fine, fine release good selection of songs on here and again I do uh, pop this in quite often it's it's a really good listen and it's still available I believe so if any of you are interested in this you can get this at I believe either shopelvis.com or shopgraceland.com so check on that all right but 50 years ago I walk into a record store this was just coming out and I know uh, my parents you know, I mean, I don't remember, of course, because I wasn't even one yet. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, nope, nothing I could do about that. But, yep, June 2020, 50 years ago, this came out. Love this album. Song selection. We have CC Rider, which is 
my opinion, I think one of the best versions, I, I just really like the grittiness of, of this version of CC Rider that's on here. Uh, Release Me, Let Me Love Again, I enjoy that as well. Sweet Caroline, can't go wrong with that. Runaway is a good version, and of course, The Wonder of You, one of my favorite Elvis songs. Poke Salad Annie is, is really good on here. Yesterday is fine. Proud Mary I really like on here as well. Walk a Mile in My Shoes, of course, is, is phenomenal. And uh, Let It Be Me, great, great stuff. There's really not one bad thing on here, in my opinion. So let me know what you think of this album. I love it. I would be close to calling it a masterpiece. Not quite, but just really, really good. And um, again, my opinion. I'd like to know what yours is. Leave me a comment. Let me know. I appreciate you watching. And as always, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Take care.